Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jay Jeter. I'm back with another review. This time I have Marvel Legends Infinite Series Captain America 3, the Winter Soldier Wave, the Winter Soldier figure. So, it's the Winter Soldier figure right here. So, yeah, I hear he's like the worst figure out of the bunch. Um, we'll see. Uh, I know one thing off the bat, off, or off the bat, that I noticed is they came with this ridiculous gun. I don't know why he came with this ridiculous red gun. I guess it's supposed to be like a sniper rifle. But like it's molded some kind of alien tech. But, but yeah, so let's check this thing out real quick. So yeah, he's I mean it's nicely detailed and sculpted detailed and stuff like that, but it's just red when it doesn't need to be. I don't know why is it red? Why did they use red plastic for this? I have no clue. I don't know they just had left them a red plastic from the red skull figure and they just hey this this throw into these these weird weapons. So yeah. It's, it's crappy. I don't like it. Um it could have came with the weapons on these figures. Could have been better. Could have been better. So yeah, it mean it kind of fits in his hand a little bit. You gotta get it in there just right and stuff. And he can hold it like that, and you, gotta, you can have him supporting it with his other hand. You gotta finagle all kinds of different kinds of weight for him to, to be able to hold it like that. But yeah, it's, it's terrible, man. It's such a good figure. They could have had kept the uh, the weapons op options on here, could have made him a little bit better. But yeah, let's take a look at him. Look at the sculpt, whatnot, and. Uh, I like the face. It looks good, the hair and everything. And um, he has some good molded in detailing. You know, some things could have been a little bit better. He has this this harness that seems to do come off. I think yeah, it comes off. If it, it, it fastens in the back. And he has a um, molded in knife, which would have been good to have a knife and um a knife, assault rifle in his he had Uzi. On his back in the movie, yeah. So detail in the pants and everything. As far as articulation goes, he does his head is on a ball hinge. It doesn't look back up that far because of his hair, but he can look down. If I can get him look down, the head popped off. It's my fault. The head looks down about that far. Can't bring him up. You can get a little bit up. I guess it depends on how far you put on the ball, on the ball hinge. Um, ours do go around 360. They do go out at the shoulder on a little ratchet. Um, rotate at the upper bicep. He has a double hinge elbow, which is kind of tricky. Well, this one works right now, but before I couldn't get to work. Yeah, he has um ab crunch. Doesn't go back really, but it goes down. And it's kind of a little bit click clack ratchets on that. His waist rotation, also a little ratcheting action also. And his legs do go forward, they go through back about that far. He has upper thigh rotation. He's a double jointed knee. He has an ankle rocker and an ankle a foot pivot uh, back and forth the foot <clears throat> and also on his hands he does have um hinged hands and the hands do rotate so yeah that's um pretty much the expected standard for articulation goes with um the marvel legends figures so yeah and all the one other set or two other sets we just come with come to the to the mandroid i'm not going to show it because i already assembled the mandroid already and he comes with an alternate head right here. He's gonna um, unmask Bucky Barnes' face. Let's take a look at that. And it looks okay. He got the, the shadowing around his eyes and stuff. It looks kind of cross sided a little bit. I don't know. Kind of weird. But yeah, um, yeah. Good sculpting the hair and everything. So all you gotta do is just pop that off, pop back on. And there you go.
But I think I'll just keep him with this mask on because he looks much more badass like that. So, yep. And a quick size comparison. I will with um, movie cap, Agent Rogers uniform. And Winter Soldier is a little, a little bit taller than Cap. Which is, which is fine. So yeah, man, go ahead and get it if you enter the building to click finishing your build a figure and try and get all of them in the wave. That's pretty much why I got it. And pretty much the last one I got, I got the Black Widow first because I saw her in the store and I like jumped on it because like Ooh. so I thought I might have to end up paying eBay prices for this to complete my set and everything. So. Lucky I found her, then I went ahead and finished by him to finish all the set. So stay tuned for my Black Widow review, and I'm going to do the Mandroid review also. All right, thank y'all for watching. Peace.